Do you hear that sound? That's the sound of anticipation. It's your one last moment to catch a breath before the unknown becomes known. Because once that green flag drops, everything is suddenly on the line. Your fenders may fold, your bumpers may break. Watch that car spinning, and watch the one flying over your head. It's a race of attrition, and all that matters is that you be second place to the line. And you say you want to become champion, so what else are you waiting for? Let's go chase for the cup. Race number two is the time when the drivers say the real season begins. Here we are, and welcome to the New Hampshire Motor Speedway. It's race two, the Crayon 301 here at the Magic Mile. Today we're going to challenge 12 laps around this one-mile racetrack. we got 30 cars to take on this flat oval, and boy, it's going to be a good one here today, especially coming off of the Daytona 500 just a few weeks ago. And be sure to hit like and subscribe and hit that notification bell to keep up with the rest of the season here on the Miscraft channel. And uh, today's stop motion race is going to be an absolutely fantastic one. We have not been to this racetrack in <laughs> pretty much six years now. And it's great to be back here at the Magic Mile. We've got a ton of new competitors since the last time we were here at this racetrack. And one of those new competitors is your most recent winner, the Daytona 500 winner. It's Bubba Wallace for 2311's number 23 Toyota Camry. He will start to 11th here today at the New Hampshire Motor Speedway. He was not in the field when we last raced all the way back in season number three. So it's going to be very interesting to see what he will be able to do here today with his first ever start like many others here at New Hampshire. Take a look at the highlight there from the last time out in Daytona and another car that we're had our eye on in Daytona, but didn't really perform was the 22 of Joey Logano. He struggled significantly in Daytona. He qualified outside of the front row, but just was not able to, to capitalize on that with some penalties and some misfortunes as well. But he's coming back here today in New Hampshire, going to hopefully get himself a better result. And your pole sitter finished second in the Daytona 500. It's Tyler Reddick in the 23-11-45 machine. Those Toyotas off to a fantastic start this season. We'll see if they can keep up the momentum here in race number two. And let's take a look at the full starting lineup in the back of the field. is Harrison Burton and Michael McDowell. Row 14 is maybe Ricky Jr. and Carson Hosevar. Then you have Josh Berry and Noah Gregson, a pair of ACHR teammates. Then you have Austin Dillon and Daniel Suarez, a pair of Chevrolets. Behind them, ahead of them will be Tyler McDonald and the Austin Sindrick. And top 20 will be Chris Buescher and Eric Jones. And then you have the 6 of Brad Keselowski and a 14 of Chase Briscoe. They have Ty Gibbs and Ryan Priest. Ahead of them will be Ryan Blaney and Alex Bowman. And then you have Blake Garcia and Bubba Wallace. And in your top 10 here today is me, Chase Elliott, starting in that 10th position in the number 10, uh, in the number 9 machine, excuse me. And it's Joey Logano starting in the 22 car in 9th position. Hopefully, going to get himself a solid result here today. Then it's William Byron in 8th. And then Denny Hamlin sporting the Interstate Batteries machine in 7th position. And Martin Trick Jr., his teammate, will be in 6th, one position ahead of him. And then in the top 5 would be Kyle Larson starting in the number 5 machine in the 5th position. Then you have Christopher Bell in the 20, starting 4th. And then uh, your top three will be Ross Chastain in the one. And on the front row for today's race, the eight machine of Ty, uh, excuse me, of Kyle Busch. Sorry, it used to be Tyler Reddick, who is now driving the 45, who starts first here today in New Hampshire. And the cars are fired up, and we're rolling off here at the New Hampshire Motor Speedway. Tyler Reddick is going to command the field down to the green flag. 30 chariots back behind him. And if you head on down to circlebydiecasts.com and use the code NMCS Racing, you can get discounted shipping on hats, t shirts, diecasts, and more on orders over $30. And if we head on down to the race info here, it is the 12 lap race. 30 cars in the field at the Magic Mile here that opened in 1990. And it's going to be Tyler Reddick and Kyle Busch leading us down to the green flag. And off turn four, here they come. Green flag is flying for race number two of the season. Down into turn one, Reddick slides up already, three wide for second, and Bush gets with the lead off of turn number two. And Chastain's going to try to challenge me. Here comes Hamlin, three wide to the inside. Reddick continues to fall back, three wide to the outside of him and Larson. Lap one complete, Bush with the lead, but a mirror full of that one of Chastain off turn number two, top three or four single file. As here comes Bell now with a huge run to the inside of Ross Chastain, looking for his first Mr. Cup, Cup Series win. And off his turn for he'll barely clear the one car, a little bit of contact there. Heading into turn one, he sets his sights on the number eight car of, of Kyle Busch down the back straightaway. A little bit of contact on the back bump of the eight car, and he'll take the lead off of turn number four. New leader, number 28, Christopher Bell. Deeper in the pack, here's a couple of Toyota drivers. It's the 07 of the 23 cars battling for the top 10 positions there. As back up from the 20 car, trying to pull away from... Oh, there's trouble on turn number two. There goes Ty Gibbs around with Alex Bowman. And that's a big crash there in turns one and two. And the caution flag is out for the first time here today in New Hampshire. 
and what a huge hit it looked like on the back end of the 54 car. Bowman will be able to crab walk away. But we'll see what happens here in turn number one. Oh, it just looks like the 48 got loose on the inside of the 54. These turns are so flat, you gotta really rely on that mechanical grip of the race cars. You can't, you don't really get sucked into the track like you do on some of the high banked ovals here. And yeah, it just, I mean the 48 car just had no grip and slid up into the 40, a 54 car. And, uh, tough luck for the 54, but. Alex Bowman will be in the pits. Looks like he will be able to continue, but with some extensive repair. And uh, as we head into the Choose Go for the first time today, we'll go ahead and take a look at the first ever DoorDash fast fact, which is that New Hampshire Motor Speedway once had a mascot named Milo the Moose. So if there are any of you watching this race that have been to New, New Hampshire and met Milo, please let us know in the comments below. As we get ready to go, restarting here on lap number six, halfway through this race, Christian Bell leads us down to turn number one, and Kyle Larson is going to get to the inside of, of Kyle Busch, and side by side for second off turn number two is our three wide mid pack. And then in a turn number three, a little bit of contact for the lead. Larson to the inside of Christopher Bell looking for the point. A little bit more contact. He shows him on the racetrack. Off of turn number two, more contact again, and there goes Christopher Bell spinning up the front bumper of Kyle Larson. He saves that race car, and the second caution is immediately out here off of the restart. I don't know what got into Kyle Larson and Christopher Bell here, but those two were beaten bumpers. And off of turn number two here on lap number seven, Larson just left, hooks the 20 car off the banking, and uh, man, what a save. <laughs> and a little bit of team radio there from Christopher Bell, not happy with Kyle Larson, understandably so. And we'll have to keep a look at that drama here occurring mid-race here in New Hampshire. Early in the season, you don't want to be making enemies this early on in the season. And so a little bit of a, a cross here on the back of Kyle Larson there from Christopher Bell as we get to the choose cone for what could be the final restart of this race. We'll have four laps to go, and Bell will be restarting at the tail end of the field with Bowman, who got his lap back. And here we come, four laps to go. Will this be the last restart of the race? We're going to have to find out. Green flag is back in the air, down to turn one. Here comes William Byron out of nowhere, three wide to the inside. Kyle Busch slides way back to the outside of the top five and tries to rally back on the back straightaway. The three wide further back, but back up front. Hendrick Boys going at it. William Byron to the point. Oh, and NASCAR is calling a review for the restart as Kyle Busch takes over second. Did William Byron jump the start or something of the sorts? But we'll have to check that out at the end of the race. And here as the battle for the lead is getting ready to heat up. Two laps to go. Popsicle six in the air here at the Magic Mile. Byron trying to hold off the eight of Kyle Busch down the back straightaway. He's slowly getting there. He is there. Busch to the back bumper of the 24 car. White flag flies here in New Hampshire. One more time around the Magic Mile down into turn number one. Can William Byron hold off? the eight of, of Kyle Busch down the back stretch. He's there. He's to the rear quarter panel. It'll slide it into turn number three. He'll clear the 24. Byron crosses him over, but it's not going to be enough as Kyle Busch will win here at New Hampshire. What a wild last four laps here at the Magic Mile. And let's see what happened here that NASCAR said that they wanted to review the restart. You saw William Byron got a huge run off the start. We'll zoom in here. Did he change his line before he got, I don't think he did. I think he started to move down to the inside there, right at the line, and that's what NASCAR is saying. He just barely made it to the line before he changed lanes, and uh, so he will have a legal finish here, a second place finish to Kyle Busch, who wins and will burn it down on the front straightaway here in New Hampshire. For his third career win of the Mistcraft Cup Series. I always see a little bit of tempers flaring there for the for the 20 and the five cars. And uh, we'll have to take a look at that drama here in a little bit. As Kyle Busch there, thank you for all of his sponsors for signing up. The biggest lot of the names here will win here in New Hampshire. They have uh, Kyle Larson finishing third behind Bush and William Byron. And William By Ryan Blaney, who fi finishes fourth here today. A solid run for him after crashing in Daytona. Tyler Reddick, your pole sitter, didn't even lead a lap here in New Hampshire, and he will finish in the fifth position. It's still a good finish, and then Mark Trix Jr., quiet day there in sixth position. We saw him a lot three wide there this race. Same for Denny Hamlin, who finishes in the seventh position. Behind them it will be uh, the one car finishing eighth here today, Ross Chastain, Melon Man. Got himself a solid run here, just fell back towards the end. And Joey Logano, a solid finish after an abysmal Daytona. That's what he was looking for, just to kind of bring, build up some of those points. And Blake Garcia, another solid finish here for the Texas Heat Racing duo. And uh, with the top 10 out of the way here, let's take a look at the full race classification here. Kyle Busch, of course, at the top of the boards with William Byron second. And uh, solid running for a lot of the Chevrolets here today, taking up the top three positions. Chase Elliott just outside the top 10 there. Your Daytona 500 winner, Bubba Wallace, finishes in the 12th position. And uh, some uh, big names back there, like Christopher Bell, one of the fastest cars, rallies back for an 18th place 
finish here today. You know, not what he was looking for, but uh, after getting taken out there with, you know, less than ra half the race to go, a uh, solid comeback for him. As we take a look here at the points, it's a tie at the top of the standings. Tyler Reddick and Kyle Busch with 67 points apiece. They lead and are well above that cut line to make it into the final eight for the Miscraft Cup Series chase. And Blake Garcia is the eighth car in line there, seven points up on Ross Chastain. And you see here a lot of these guys back here from 11th through 20th. Got a lot of work to do, but they're still within that range of being able to make up that in one race here and a lot of big names back here as well like Denny Hamlin you know 21st position for him Brad Keselowski in 26 they've got a lot of work to do if they want to contend for a championship here this season and that's it here from the New Hampshire Motor Speedway next up will be from the M&M Cup Series Los Angeles Raceway for the FedEx 200 it's gonna be a fantastic little uh, collaboration of racetracks there for the Miss Ground Cup Series and the M&M Cup Series and uh, it'll be absolutely fun to go out there for the first time for the season. A brand new racetrack for the uh, Mistcraft Cup Series gang to try out. And, uh, well, until then, thank you all for watching with New Hampshire, and we'll see you next time.